Me and my younger brother gave him the name Houdini because this octopus inked and tried to escape while we were taking him home on an airplane. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing an update on my octopus. Yes, I am keeping a pet octopus here in my home aquarium. Now you guys might be wondering, where is he? Alright, so I want you guys to keep an eye out for the octopus. And once you spot him, if you see him, give this video a like and let us all know that, that you guys see him. Oh, do you guys see that? A little wiggling around on the rock right there. Yep. Can you guys believe that? So that's him. That is my octopus who I've named Houdini. Me and my younger brother gave him the name Houdini because if you haven't seen my earlier videos, this octopus inked and tried to escape while we were taking him home on an airplane. And so we decided to give him the name of Houdini because he is not only a master of camouflage, but to what they're also notoriously known for being escape artists. So you might be wondering, okay, George, why do you have the light so low? Now it's because in the wild, octopuses tend to live in cooler, deeper waters where there really isn't that much light. You will on occasion see octopuses swimming around in the open ocean. That's usually when they're kind of hunting, maybe desperate for some food. Otherwise, they typically like to stay hidden in a lot of rock work. So that's why you can see I have so much rock work in here and I've created a lot of little holes and different crevices that he can sneak his way into but now that's the other thing with octopuses is because they're such good escape artists and because they are so good at squeezing in and throughout rock they're also very good at escaping aquariums and so the reason I have this tank is because there is a really secure lid and then in the back I've actually pushed filter sponges all the way into the intake so there's really no way that Houdini is going to escape this aquarium again so far so good two months he has not escaped again yet i say yet because honestly it's probably inevitable that he does try to find another way to get out keeping octopuses is honestly like a horror movie guys i'm not kidding that's why i don't recommend octopuses for aquarists in general they're just they're really tricky animals they require a lot of attention a lot of stimulation a lot of attention to detail and so if you're not willing to put in the work every single day and it is a lot of work then i don't suggest keeping octopuses as a pet and you should leave them to be kept by professionals in public aquariums or just leave them out in the ocean now a lot of people say you shouldn't really be keeping octopuses as pets the truth is that they don't live very long regardless of whether they're in your aquarium or whether they're in the ocean. Octopuses have really short lifespans. These smaller species only live between six months and two years, but still that's not very long relative to other animals, especially other animals that you can keep in aquariums. Some of those massive octopuses that you've seen in videos before can sometimes stretch their lifespans to be about five years or so, but Still, that's not very long for such an amazing animal. Researchers say that because octopuses have so many sensory neurons all throughout their body, in fact, two thirds of the octopus's sensory neurons are in its arms and its tentacles in those suckers. Those suckers actually have the ability to taste, smell, feel, and obviously they have eight arms and hundreds of those suckers. I've been told that yes, they do only live for a short amount of time, but because they have so many sensory neurons, they still experience an extremely fulfilling life. They just experience in a much more intense way during the short amount of time that they are alive. So we know that these guys don't live very long, but that means that my job as an octopus keeper is to keep my octopus as stimulated as I can to give him as fulfilling of a life as possible. And to do that, we need to keep him stimulated. In just a second here, I'm actually going to take out my octopus Houdini and we're going to play with him. Um, now that may sound like, why are you playing with the octopus? The octopus is not a toy, which is true. However, octopuses need to be stimulated. One way you can do this is by handling them. We got to see how a public aquarium does this exact same activity with their bigger octopus, Lily. This was over in the UK at Sea Life Brighton. Their octopus is a lot larger, so the octopus would stay in the water while they played with its tentacles. I'll do that, but a lot of times Houdini will really just will pull himself all the way up into my hands, and it's kind of unavoidable that he, you just end up taking him out of the water to handle him for a few minutes. Octopuses are incredibly intelligent animals. They can actually tell who their owners are. My one friend Brandon Hooten down in Texas told me that when he was keeping an octopus one time, that when one of his friends was going up the stairs to the tank, the octopus would not come out. But anytime he took the staircase up, the octopus immediately recognized his footsteps and came out to feed. And he tried and tested this multiple times, did indeed know Brandon's footsteps every time meant that he was gonna get fed by the owner. You can check out Houdini here. He's literally, he's just, he's looking at us. He's just, 
He knows we're here. He, he knows me because I feed him every day. Now this is an interesting experience for him because I really haven't filmed him since my last octopus on an airplane video. So he doesn't, I don't think he really knows what the camera is yet. Yo, Yanni, get up. I need you to help me film this part. Okay. <laughs> All right, so like I just mentioned, we are now gonna pull Houdini out of the aquarium for just about five, 10 minutes to give him some stimulation. This is gonna be sort of like octopus recess for him, and we can use this container to conceal him, and maybe at the end, I'll give my octopus Houdini a nice little treat. Okay, so you guys can see that Houdini is right there in the corner. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up this lid. It's actually a pretty heavy lid. It's, it's something he definitely couldn't squeeze out of. Let's fill this little mini aquarium with water. One of the first ways to keep him stimulated is every four or five days, usually about once a week, I will change the rock structures. So I'll start kind of moving the rocks and creating like basically a different playground for him so that he doesn't get bored of the same rock structure. So it feels like maybe he's experiencing a new part of the reef. Now the thing is with these octopuses, when you keep them as pets, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to give them a lot of rock work, a lot of different hiding places. Some people won't do that because they want to see their octopus, but if you truly want your octopus octopus to thrive at its best, you actually want to give it as many hiding spots as possible. And for that reason, owning an octopus can be a lot of fun, but also it's very rare that you see your octopus out and about. I'd say about 90% of the time, you can't even see Houdini in the aquarium. He's usually hiding under a rock, in between rocks. All right, so we're going to slowly pull Houdini out of the water and you can see him check him out now it's totally okay for octopuses to be out of water they'll actually leave water all the time in the wild and kind of crawl around in the tide pools you want to be extremely gentle with him you want to make sure he doesn't fall but look at him as he crawls through my hands now these suckers feel so so cool and look at his eyes. Octopuses have a beak, and so their bite actually feels kind of like a mix between a parrot bite and a bee sting. This is just a common octopus, so the bite isn't lethal, it's nor potent, nor toxic. However, there are some types of octopuses that can be extremely venomous, so you always want to properly identify an octopus before you handle one. We're gonna put Houdini, he's latched onto me, you see that? I have found, personally, in my experience with keeping octopuses, that, that you never want to just throw them right back into their tank, because octopuses have a tendency to ink right when you put them back into water. In the wild, when they go back into the water from a tide pool, they're extremely vulnerable. All the animals maybe in the water can see them before they have a chance to get camouflaged and go hide under a rock. And so their natural thing to do is to squirt a jet of ink and then make a dash for a rock. So we don't want to put Houdini right back into this tank because I'm afraid he'll ink and then ruin all the water in this tank. So what we're going to do is we're going to first throw him into this other container of water and let him get comfortable. You see that? He just pumped a lot of new water back into his mantle. You want to be very gentle when placing the octopus back in any type of water. Although he might ink in here, we still don't want him to. Come on, Houdini. Recess is over. It's time for you to go back in your tank, buddy. So Houdini's got a little bit of a crush on me right now. He doesn't want to leave my hand and enter this new body of water. The water in this container came from his aquarium, so it's the same water. All right, so now that we have Houdini in his little container and we've rescaped the rock work. We're ready to put him back into his home. So we are just slowly gonna lower him back into his tank. And so this is the foolproof way to make sure that when you put your octopus into an aquarium for the first time, or you're taking him out for whatever reason, putting him back in, he does not ink in his main tank. Here you can see this is the only other way he could escape. And we have a filter sponge on the other side of it to ensure he doesn't get out. All right, Houdini, recess is over. We're gonna close the lid. And one more thing, guys, the reason that I have this tank on this corner of this pillar away from the rest of my other tanks is because I actually don't want Houdini to know that I am keeping other aquarium fish over there. I don't want him to be able to see them because I've actually heard stories that if octopuses see other fish in nearby aquariums, they will get extra motivated to escape their aquarium so that they can go eat them. So you heard lots of similar stories from octopus keepers where their octopus will escape the aquarium go eat the fish in the aquariums nearby, and then be smart enough to get back into their own aquarium, making it look like they never even left. So just to be safe, I keep my octopus here in this tank isolated from all my other aquariums. I have too many fish over there that I really love, and I'm not taking 
any chances. So I'm almost positive Houdini thinks that he's the only animal, he's the only fish that I keep. <laughs> My 12G Nation comment shout out of the day is from Valerie Calderon. I recently discovered your channel. Honestly, I'm hooked. Every video I've watched is even better than the last. Keep doing what you're doing. Your love for the hobby truly translates into your videos and sparks a passion in your viewers. Thank you for that, Valerie, and thank you for being a part of the 12G Nation. If you guys have not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna keep doing updates on my octopus Houdini, as well as all the other fish and animals I have in my aquariums over there. If you guys want me to do an update on all of my fish, maybe feed all my fish or something like that, I need this video to get 10,000 likes. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I will do a full tour of my entire aquarium collection here and feed all my animals for you guys. And of course, make sure you turn on the post notifications, guys. I recently discovered that only 30% of you guys have your post notifications turned on. Make sure you turn those on so that you actually do get notified when I drop that room tour update. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. But until then, remember to keep those nitrates low. George. Out.